and welcome back. Yes, I said a good morning, Nigeria. So now time for us to discuss our top story for today. Um, now, for inside all the papers, we see him as the other statesman, Chief Olusegun Obasanjo, the former president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Just yesterday, we do an open letter to the president, Muhammad Buhari. Um, in commerce, I talk about plenty of teams and performing below the expectations of Nigeria. Now, one of the things we actually list out in commerce, I talk about poverty. He said, already Nigerians that they commit suicide for the unbearable social economic situation where they find themselves in. And yet, Nigerians, they love life. He said, we must not continue to reinforce um, failure and hope that all will be well. Um, in the comments, I talk about um, poverty rates, for instance, we'll be doing Nigeria and plenty of other things. But talking about this poverty way in least come out, we get Bernard Akede um, sitting with us to discuss this particular one. Now, you feel saying get a point as regards to um, faulting the, 40 the present administration on poverty? Um, well, not just poverty. First of all, what I will do is I will list out all the six ways you don't talk about. First no, of we'll all, do it one after the other. Let's no, just definitely. Address... Before, we, before we, you know, come in there. All right, let's, let's do it poverty, poverty first. Now... It's obvious if you if you if you work out you're gonna see poverty in the land. As I, me as I they follow you talks, I've ungar don't they catch me. <laughs> but the truth be said, definitely, definitely there is poverty in the land. Now, if you know be saying that because of poverty, they make people they commit suicide, right? But I would say hardship in general. Mm. You know, some people don't see say you don't reach level where we say uh, the regular things where money they buy before. I, I will call it inflation, of course. Inflation don't begin catch on top of those particular things. And if you say the things where you suppose where you suppose they buy with 15 naira before, now you know if you buy them with 15 naira again. This is where they buy with 100 naira before, 100 naira, I don't know if you afford them again. You don't even feel good, oh, no, go far. We don't say fuel, fuel crisis where they hit us recently. Today, fuel day, tomorrow, fuel no day. The amount of money we take they buy fuel before don't go up. So, of course, and definitely fuel, it be like the, now the, uh, how I go talk about now, the engine where they run everything. As long as, say, the price of fuel don't go up, or fuel not they available, the ripple effects go hit everything else. So, yeah, not just poverty, but I completely agree, say, yes, poverty level don't go up. As I mentioned earlier, inflation rate. Once inflation hit a particular people, or a particular people, or a country, or a place, definitely uh, poverty go, you know, poverty will come up because people look for afford the mm -hmm. things where they buy uh, regularly. So, yes, in, in get points by talking about poverty, definitely, definitely, Nigerians, they feel poverty. They, they feel the impact but if of you poverty. But if you compare the situation of poverty in 2017 to this, of, of this administration, would be Ogabari administration, to the poverty situation during by the time he was president, during mm. by the era of um, when he was there for eight years, you feel put them hand in hand and say um, they're almost of the same or one better past the other because we, could not, we understand say inflation rate then mm -hmm. and now was yeah, not the same totally exchange rate then and now was not the of same course. but even as at that time people still be they cry mm -hmm. say there was hunger in the land of course see they don't get the time when people know cries in hunger day this land right from the 1960s up till date people don't they cry say hunger day the land hunger day the land unfortunately the problem now say we don't have even distribution of wealth in the country if to say the wealth within this country they evenly distributed, even if it is not totally evenly distributed, but to a particular degree of accuracy. Say, this money with the, with this country, the resources with this country, no, be only one small sector. Like uh, my uncle, uh, uh, Patrick Obayagwan, will talk. He say the wealth of this country is piloted by a microscopic few. Hmm. Just a few people in this country, now gather the money where they and they just did one corner. The money they circulate, they circulate, they circulate. The people they chop, the, 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 you know, government officials and the, most of the people where they embezzle the money for this country, they don't reach up to 20% of the general populace of this country. And Nigeria is a country of approximately or slightly above 170 <coughs> million people. Yeah. So imagine, say, just, imagine say less than 20% that then really they enjoy the benefits, the fruits of this country. What happened to the remaining 80%? So yeah, you know, unless the wealth of the country they evenly distributed, no matter the year, no matter the age, it will continue like this. It will continue like this. Poverty will continue to the trend for this country. Well, yes, we still have the same names where they always come out and the same names where me and you don't know since time or would they, um, would they be very little, still trying to rule the country. But we'll move ahead to the next one when they talk about insecurity and the headsman manners. Now, they say this one don't be like, say, it a, it be like say they sour for mouth if mm. they look this way. If it's the food way they put for mouth. Now, they talk, say, it can't be like, say, the federal government, no, they even want care. They just live on with careless abandon. They never will find effective solution to ram. They say this one a sad symptom of insensitivity and callousness. Say some governors, a day after 73 victims, they don't bury them for inside mass grief on Ben without condolence, uh, without, without condolence. They say they were jubilantly endorsing the president for a second term. Now the second, um, the second is this poor understanding of the dynamics. That and the second option where they mm -hmm. look now. Poor understanding of the dynamics of internal 
politics. That's not one of those things where um, they don't come out and put say, Imagine this mayhem, this mayhem when they happen on top of this headsman matter. And yes, some people are focusing on looking at how to bring him back for another term come 2019. No, be like, I, I remember the time when this thing happened. We've been discussing for uh, as the hot and for our radio show, where they call uh, I beg to differ. Now, just the day after the burial of this particular uh, uh, 73, thereabouts, uh, uh, people we've been by with the headsman being killed. About six, if I'm not mistaken, some northern governors, me come as I call endorse Mr. President, say, You and our, uh, our candidates, we support you, we want you to still go forward. A lot of people will come and come complain, say, Is this the right time to do such? Uh, considering the fact that most of these governors will come out, then they from the north, and this place where this particular badness they happen. Now, also for you know, going towards the northern parts of the country, talking about in Benue State. Now, for people we don't know, the full and headsmen now, according to international joint bodies, they don't come and talk, say, Now, they, they one of the that's one of the greatest terrorist organizations because the number of people they don't buy in the past few years is very, very alarming. Not just in Nigeria. Not just in Nigeria alone. It's very, very alarming. Of course, because um, Fulani people are not just resident in Nigeria. Yeah. They're resident in almost um, like nine countries, uh, a few countries bordering Nigeria, but like nine countries. We have Mali, we have the Republic, we have Cameroon, and the likes. So the badness that they do, it is spread well. Now, one would expect, say, at this particular time, say, Nobody to come endorse Mr. President, that be the most important thing, nobody the utmost thing. But then other people will argue, say, we know say, election year, don't they come? Now, whether not the important thing to do or not the important thing to do, the meat of this particular matter we talk, we say, this Fulani has been the insecurity of the country, particularly coming from this Fulani has been now matter of great importance. And I wish not Ogan Basu, not the come and talk, say, our president and in cabinet and in people, they never really address this particular matter. Now, as we they talk, Solution to Fulani has been never still come out. We still deliberate on top of this particular matter. The other time, they've been given the IG, Inspector General of Police, 14 days ultimatum to bring the people who commit this badness to book. They will say, make him move in camp, go Benway State, where the thing they happen. Just as they tell uh, Oga Boruta at that time, say, make him go uh, Sambisa Forest, go, go pitch tent so that uh, Ebu Karam will stop. But then, people they talk, say, within 14 days, even if it catch the people who cause this Wahala, is that going to be the end to this particular problem? It is still endemic, now still in depth investigation they supposed to do. Now make Oga uh, Obasan Jobi come and complain about this full and headsman. Say, well, if you actually catch them, because just yesterday we read down for the paper, say, um, it is not the headsman, say, an Islamic. Uh, um, um, military affiliates, affiliates, yeah, let's also, let's also remember, so say, and, and some other people also talk, say, no, be if like, Islamic before they even talk Islamic, but within the talk, they say now militants from other countries. So, some of these people they know even if they speak English, the majority of them French. they speak French. Mm -hmm. The truth be say, when they do this investigation, a lot of things will happen. And as I've been talk, catching the perpetrators of this dastardly act, no go bring an end to this particular matter. The only thing we go end this matter now, the kind of laws where they go put in place curtailing the excessive movement of this particular headsman. I don't want to mention, I don't want to call them Fulani headsmen because it's as if we're putting a tag to a group of people. I would just call them headsmen. Even if, if you catch person where they think, no, me say, I'm robbery, go stop. You have to look for the cause, what exactly is happening, why is there incident robbery in this particular locality, in this particular area, what thing they happen? Should I say, now court is in the happen here? Should I say, now unemployment of the youth they happen here? Should I say, the youth are aggrieved? Say some people where they here, they chop money, and the money no richer. So because of that, they don't turn yeah, you know, to the gun. So they we need to find the issues where they happen about this particular headsman. But it's I just talk about them. cattle colonies now. You feel that cattle colonies go feel help to curb the um, attacks? Now, one of the ways where they feed one, but not the only way. It's just like when they say prayer is the key. Prayer is not the key. It is a key. It is one of the keys. So cattle colonies are one of the ways where they feel take curb this particular issue. They get so many other things where they guys do. Other countries don't do them. Right now, if Ghana don't take drastic measures, we say now shoot on sight. They do. They don't kill so many cows recently. Which you know has which get, of gets on disadvantage. It gets on disadvantage. As I said, you know, there's several yeah. ways in our own country. Nobody go talk to me. They come as come kill cows because we know the importance of well of of. And we know how that that can, that can also know how that can escalate. Yes, no, of course. Exactly. So different laws. Then with the hope, say they go put in place catching the, the perpetrators of the act. That one must happen because they must be brought to book. Justice must take its course. But then it goes beyond that. So now we don't know person just we also come at the complain about uh, the headsman issue. And in they say for the fact say this thing just happened, they just bury people, some other people can't come out. Instead of mourning concerning this particular issue now, when they go out they jubilate, they celebrate, say make a gabuari come forward. So nobody the right time to do that one. All right, now the other one are the poor economic management. Now, of course, mm. this is another one where they shoot for on top of this uh, current um, presidency administration. Knowing fully well, if you check the history and check by the time um, our ex president believe for inside the um, you know, seat, there was yes. also devaluation mm. of Naira during by in time. And it was even devaluated it, it, it then and even now. And a lot of people that time they clamor, they talk, say, why are we devaluing it as at that time? And how mm -hmm. now will even affect us? But now that they come out.
outside, they talk about the devaluing of Naira to by, by even 70% or, or more, and they come outside, they blame the government. In come outside, they talk, so if things were good, Bo uh, President Buhari would not need to come in. He was voted to fix things that were bad and not engage in the blame game. This is not one of the things. It, it, right now, in the comments, I talk, say, the way the economy is being handled, um, say, if if there were other options, it could have been handled better. Very, very true. Now, the first thing, I would like to take one line when you talk here. He say, nobody, uh, this is an organization where we talk. He say, uh, let nobody deceive us. Economy feeds on politics, and because our politics is depressing, our economy is even more depressing today. This one is a sure factor. You don't need to be, you, you know, you don't need to be magician. You don't need to be soothsayer to see, say, politics where they play for Nigeria now. No, we better politics. Since they change. We don't they see, say, people we're not supposed to be for different positions. Now, then they there. We see, say, our lawmakers, our leaders, the kind of fat, fat salary where they carry go house. Say it too much. We, we they see our lawmakers. When they do different things, when they spray money up and down, when they see lawmakers, when they dance, when they play music, when they enjoy themselves, whereas the people where they make laws for, the people they suffer. When they see local government councillors, chairmen, where they celebrate here and there, whereas the people where they're supposed to counsel, they get poor roads, lights no day, Why water is it no today? day. Now today, no it didn't happen. Of course, not, not today. today. Even under our Bassanjo regime, say, mm -hmm. these same things they happen. But of course, in North Command, I don't talk, say, and I'm coming back to waiting, which don't talk now. In North Command, I don't talk, say, until our politics and politicking improves, our economy no going to improve because the economy is tied to politics. Now, also, they gave me to Luchi been talk earlier, uh, to, where you been talk, say, uh, make I just carry on. I say on. Say they will vote our president they, to fix things. Exactly. That say were they bad. Vote. Now, say, when Oga uh, Buhari be enter power, him being complain, even me too, I did among the people we talk and say, truly, truly, he came there to meet the rot. He came there to meet rot in our government. Mm -hmm. Say the things where the last government been leave behind. Say na badness. Now God about to not come and talk. Say we know. Say the things where they leave behind na badness. Now make we carry you can't change them. We not carry you when you can't tell us what we know already. Now for so many months and so many years, our new government not tell us. Say the past government they chop money. The past government they not do this. The past government not do this. We know say they not do them. You are here to be the Messiah to change it. We know say the world they bad. Now make we expect Jesus Christ may come make us save us. We know expect Jesus Christ may come tell us say the world is going to hellfire if we know you know if we know stop the badness what we they do. So now make him come and talk say we are not expecting you, excuse me, to tell us what we know already. We're expecting you to come and change what is already in place. We don't call a doctor to come and tell you, say you sick. You call a doctor to come and tell you, say, this is what you should do to get better. All right, then the next one where you come as I talk about an nepotism. Mm. Um, and of course, now the main story now will be the case study for the sense of all of this one on top of this nepotism. Knowing fully well that doing my own uh, um, doing my own time also, when he was also the president, he also brought in a few relatives who will be there in charge of, of certain funds of where, be they, where he own name be there on top of the company name and the way the money be there, take Mago Mago the worker in between the two parties. You see, no time when nepotism no go there inside mm -hmm. this country in Nigeria. No, be even for government, even for companies where mm -hmm. they work. You go some companies where you go find out, say, a particular tribe of people now then they dominate. dominate that particular company. Yeah. Most likely because the person where they recruit, the recruitment officer or the HR person now from that particular but tribe. But does that so make it right? Of course not. And now which are they come? Now, unfortunately, like Obasanjo Jordan explained for here now, we keep sacrificing, uh, you know, credibility on the altar of nepotism. Instead of employing the people who are supposed to do the job, you go employ your brother where you know say they suffer for village. Now you go come inside there, you know go do the job well, the company you know go move forward, people go they suffer. At the end, you go need to sack people. You know go want to sack your brother because now your brother, if you sack and I go back village, they'll just say you do bad things. Mm -hmm. So what you go do is say you're going to come up people where if they know they do the job well. This same thing they happen for our government. Nepotism, would they bring man no man come inside politics, come inside government, forgetting say now people where they the grassroots, now they go suffer. If we put square pegs in round holes as we both they talk. What will happen? You no go fit. And if you force a me enter, you go to see him with your eyes. Say this thing no fine for eye. Now one of the problems we they get even under Oga Abbas no time, it also be happen. Unfortunately, Nigeria is a very, very uh, uh, what is I talking about? Very, very ethnically diverse country. When we say before you talk, say we are Nigerians. First go say this one a Igbo man, this one a Yoruba man, this one a Hausa man. Until we conquer that first, before we go realize say for good things to happen for Nigeria, the good thing no know whether you be Yoruba or you be Igbo. Like Chuku did always talk. If Nepal go off, light come out. Uh, before the lights go fix and the light no one know whether an Igbo man nine day nine day rule having a Yoruba man. He just won't know say make light okay, day on. make everybody enjoy betterness for inside the country. Alright now looking at this open letter because he actually lists a lot of things. Mm -hmm. And not be the first time we don't see an open letter. An open letter was written by the former president to um the past by, by, president. By Obama, by Obama, by Obama, to, and to, to the, the past, past president, president yes. um good luck Jonathan. Mm -hmm. Now if you say this one will actually dent twenty nineteen election as regards to this present uh, administration. Um honestly speaking I don't feel so. 
And could there also be a possibility that this ex-president might want to come out for 2019 election? I, I strongly so doubt it. So we during the time we actually write open yeah, letters. I strongly doubt it. I doubt, say, of course, well, you can never tell the heart of a man. You know the waiting person the thing for you, man. But me, I doubt, say, Oga Bazunogo won't come out. I know, if at all, he won't come out. I know she's in a smart move. As in day like this, as mm -hmm. elder statesman, I feel, say, in command, greater respect. As elder statesman, we're in day. Uh, for a traditional Yoruba empire, they get, with, they get what they call the kings and the kingmakers. The king may be the strongest man, but the king makers nine day in back. So, so for some people, it's better to be a king maker than to be a king. Now, I don't believe say Ogabu Basu will come out. And then secondly, to answer the other question, whether this would dent uh, 2019 if Ogabu Hari decides to say he won't come out, I strongly doubt it. We know the kind of politics where they play for Nigeria. Where we say people don't even come out with, they don't go dig up past history of several people, come out and talk, say this person no go school, this person bring fixed certificates, this person do this, this person do that at the end, the person still run for election and the person still win. But when other statements are not actually encouraging you or supporting you, you don't go after We don't even see issues where your own party members have no even support you and encourage and you, but then, uh, yeah, the person still win. Because at the end, he, he, no matter who supports you or who no support you, it's not just for your own betterment. Mm -hmm. They get so many people surrounding this particular person. We won't make sure, say, this person win to their own betterment and to their own best interest. So I don't believe, say, this open letter will cause any water. The open letter will just open our eyes to, to see what we already know, say, they happen. Just bring to our awareness. But then at the end, it's left for all of us to use our own PVC, we use our own voters card, decide From whether now waiting we won't be this. I've been over waiting we won't be this. Very Thank true. you, Bernard. Thank you so much, Welcome. Bernard. Now, 2019 is almost around the corner, and the right as we speak, so INEC don't begin registration. If you don't get your permanent voters card, you, you're going to need to go to the nearest INEC office. Now, so we see I'm today on top of the balance diet of teletainment. We'll go there again tomorrow to give you better, more gist, educative, inspiring, and of course, entertaining. I remain Luchi Enogbong, we can get better day. And I remain Uvi Ekikami, so I see you again tomorrow. To enjoy more of this our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on.